We're broadcasting live from the Thunderdome in Sunniapolis, Forsk, Minnesota, home of the Purple Mutant Eaters. You can hear their anthem being played down on the field right now. Of course, written by the artist formerly known as Pimp, Purple Brain, one of the all-time classics. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Motor City Maniacs battle the Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I was hanging on the now. You know what I mean? Hey, no game, no man. I can't. Come on, I'm down there. Get on the gap and get on out, you know? Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. Oh, and he just turned ginormous. Look out. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Second and three. <laughs> oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. They're taking what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey, less than a wipe for the headache. Second down and six. defense of course he he could have had an interception returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game but i don't want to nitpick third down and six and this guy runs angry and runs hard first down and it's first and ten Nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. <laughs> talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. Good run. He nearly broke it open, Bricks. Yeah, I nearly blew three times the legal limit last night leaving the stadium. And I nearly did not get arrested, get thrown face first into a paddy wagon, get taken for a rough ride. And I nearly did not have prison sex and lock him. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Well, what about when you get knocked was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. First down and forever. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. 
second down and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Third down and long. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. <laughs> First and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. Second down and seven. Children's Hospital. What a player. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. First and ten. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. Second down and nine. Boo, baby, I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Third down, and the punter is warming up. <laughs> he caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is 
unfortunate. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Roid Rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you unstoppable. I'll take a Roid Rage for the pocket chaser. Make it and he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! Yeah, man, he's going to get him now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. second there third down and forever and he pulled out a chain shot Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one time thing. And he just slipped away. It's going to shave a few days off his life.
And it's first and ten. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Watch me! With kickers, you never know. That goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. He should have had that one. Second down and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Third down and nine. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them make... And we're at the two-minute warning. And it's first and ten. Takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And that'll bring up third and one. Perfect coverage. Nice deflection. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Yep. 
Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. And it's first and ten. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it ref! Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah! The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just cock-blocked the clock! The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them time out to stop our own... And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are... The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome back to the start of the second half. It's a close game and should be a battle to the end. The teams line up for the kickoff. Okay, my second half buzz is just kicking in right on time. Get on up, get on up. I'm a scared shiver. I am a hell of a shiver. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. And it's first and ten. And that's a catch for three yards. Second down and seven. He picks up a two. Third down and five. right there and then he dropped it oh scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league and the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt his knitting is in palm grim that cross stitching unbelievable nice catch and he turns on the afterburners punt returners in this league have a little oh, devastating hit you ever get hit that hard bricks yep third grade sister mary of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck blocking. And he made a mistake there, thrown into he's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. The 10. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score.
And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. It's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. is important. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Yeah, man. He's going to get him now. He's going to have... <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And that's why they call it the money shot. who can kick field goals. Good luck with that. And it's first and ten. He refuses to go down. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. And he's off to the races. First down and one. Warp speed and into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's warming. Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm sad to notice that this rep likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the rep out of his misery. First down in a mile. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserker drugs. Is that, is that guy? He broke free, and oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your 
time to go. It's your time. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. His ass. Hey, okay, no, man, kill. Kill on, 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 Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got you. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? <laughs> and it's first and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. The teams have kept each other at bay for now, but there's still plenty of time to bribe refs and kill the other team star players, so it's anyone's game, really, Bricks. And it's first and ten. First and ten. They are marching down the field unopposed. And it's first and ten. Folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. <laughs> Second down and long. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That is still edible, though. Just got Scrape off the charge parts. And that'll bring up third down and seven. <laughs> well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. And let's move on. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled. 
Arnold, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. A saw you never saw. See, there's the saw there. I see. And it's first and ten. Some steam, a gain of seven there. Second and three. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth thrown out of the roof of my mouth. What? Yourself. That's unique. First down. This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can, Grim. I don't even think he knows what a first down is. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. It's first and ten. The Roid Rage Dirty Trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the duration of the play. I know that's typical of all of them. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and one. Points, so they're going for two. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. Yeah, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know what? I'm the greatest. The greatest, Andrea. <laughs> Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. You were gonna tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed, it was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well placed cleat. And it's the quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two minute drill. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. It should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick.
And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit. The defense calls a second timeout. They really need to make a stop here. And that'll bring up second and one. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. The defense takes its final timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore, so they'll need to stop the offense. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. And he rumbles for big yardage on that play. They're back in business, Bricks. My mom told me to stay out of other people's businesses, Grim. Third down and nine. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. The mutant eaters devour the opposition and win the game. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? Well, I paid for admission. I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls win. I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...